Welcome in once again, guys. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know, man. Man, I won't lie. These cards are beautiful, man. These cards are beautiful. I saw these prismatic ultimate rares in person, and I was impressed. I won't lie. I mean, in the rarity collection one, I'll be honest. At least me, I wasn't a personal fan of the PURs. Um, just not my favorite rarity, just not my cup of tea. I mean, but that's fine, Jay. Good for you. There's a lot of people that really love, that really enjoy prismatic ultimate rares. And now in rarity collection two, you know, man, who cares about no update, man? My bad guys. In rarity collection, in rarity collection two. Um essentially we can see here that um I mean these are beautiful. In person, I don't know if they made any changes to it, quantity control, you name it these cards look much much better um these this particular uh luxury rare you know prismatic ultimate rare purs look very very nice in person and i won't lie man having these at you know five bucks maybe six six fifties um as the the most expensive you know um version of these cards or yeah, that, that's cheap that's cheap that's cheap i won't lie i mean and, and not a most expensive version compared to the other versions. What I meant to say, like the most expensive Ghost Mourner, uh, um, I'm sorry, the most expensive PUR overall is five or six bucks. That's pretty cheap. So that's good. That's good. If you want play sets, you know, you're looking at maybe 20 bucks, um, you know, uh, after tax, maybe max. And it's not bad. Again, these cards look beautiful. You still get access to all these staples. And again, this is just the high end maybe you pay a 20 bill but then towards um maybe a couple of cards down you're already paying just 10 bucks a place that that is not bad guys not bad for this particular luxury rare um shout out to sage that's my guy um his favorite rarity and look this is nice man under two billies you can get these purs iconic cards this is not bad they look they look better than last time in my humble opinion and um you know this time around i'll be definitely picking up some more purs let me know what are you what you guys think about this rarity i believe we should be buying these rarities right now um because it's cheap it's cheap man it's just cheap compared to maybe the other rarities you know a platinum secret a qcsr obviously so this is more budget and it still looks very very nice guys don't forget destroy that like and subscribe button guys we're having a giveaway look at that shout out to the members broken giveaway this is a broken giveaway we're giving away hundreds of dollars worth of cards shout out to andrew look ultimate rare winter cherries fenrir and lou bellies the cards that everyone wants we're doing the giveaway at 5k make sure um you participate all you have to do is subscribe and then the discord giveaway once we reach 500 subs we're giving away these broken cards including an ash and a quarter century tour guide you want to participate just hop on the discord link in the description down below you come over here one click gets you in and you're participating also subscribe don't forget about that first link in the description down below get your guide man five minute read hey stop losing money it's time to educate yourself this is the first step on your educational journey and we have 15 dollars off if you're shopping for any of these cards including you know um uh, a purs you can come over here to whatnot first I'm, I'm sorry link in the description down below first click right here 15 dollars off you get over here don't miss out guys none of this content is official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only guys we have ghost mourner and moonlit chill alternate art i can't believe that this is the most expensive pur right now it's just insane to me if we see this list of cards just so many broken staples that moonlit chill mourner and moonlit chill is the first one the most expensive one mind-boggling to me so shout out to cody peak man his favorite card i can't believe it this thing was a buck a billy and some change no one cared about this card except cody cody came in the whale he started to buy this card up buy it out and look he's already moved the price now nah, i'm just kidding i mean who knows maybe maybe guys shout out to cody that's my guy hey hey 54 listings here a lot of one ofs right there and then it's a seven dollar card i mean it's harder it's getting harder and harder to get 54 listings only i'm so surprised that this card has spiked up this much this fast i will not lie there has to be something behind this there has to be p coming in and buying this card Ow, i mean it's being used in the meta we get it but above cross out above all these staples man mm. and we guys we have cross out designator here 
I mean, this one's just hovering, just consolidating. That's what you want to see. You want to see that sideways price action. You do see a little bit of a curvature towards the end. That's good. That means you want to come in, take advantage of any of these deals below five billies. This card has the potential to be 750s in the short term and eventually even double digits. Look, a lot of one ofs, a lot of two ofs, and then it's a six dollar card, seven pages, 61 listings. You know, sideways consolidation, smart people coming in just a hair above five billies, getting that exposure to a broken card that everyone needs in this beautiful rarity. Then we have IP. I mean, IP is IP, the alternate art version. Again, there's going to be people that like the alternate art. They, some people prefer the OG, but all in all, this one looks beautiful, especially as a, as a PUR. It's nice. It's nice. And look, price wise, we have Billy Bob's paying 20 billies for the card. Then now it's five dollars. Then they paid up four X above. Why not? I mean, why not, man? Right? Right? What's what's your problem, Jay? I mean, this card is five billies right now. Not bad. Again, again, seventy three listings, just five a five dollar bill plus a couple of shekels worth of taxes gets you this card. You can't make this stuff up. It's a beautiful card in a beautiful rarity. And honestly, again, if you're looking to maybe get one of the luxury rares on the cheaper side. You're going to have the PCRs, but then also the PURs. Just pick your choosing. This is not bad for um, this particular version for this just iconic card that everyone wants and has high demand. Same for the hand traps. Drawing Lockbird. I mean, here you have the OG version. Look at that. Used to be three bucks, three billies, ten bucks a place that's spiking up to 583s. You do have a couple of uh, deals here. I don't always just sub five billies, but then it quickly goes up to the mid fives right there and uh clean this up janitor style five pages only 47 listings already under 50 listings the walls are already almost at six billies down the page there so uh <clears throat> yeah this one's interesting look people coming in paying 20 dollars after tax for a place out of this that's interesting i mean draw is draw man honestly i mean look at all these hand traps again you could technically say we're in hand trap format and look at all these cheap cheap hand traps they started with draw now we have um, we started with oh, uh, uh, Moonlight Chill actually Warner and Moonlight Chill but you know Drone now Ogre look at that used to be three fifties you do have a couple of one of a couple of deals but then after that it quickly goes to five dollars that's where you have the walls uh, as well five pages what are you listing so again most of these hand traps they're under fifty listings everyone needs them the demand is high and these are very beautiful versions especially of this alternate art ghost ogre and snow rabbit so definitely look at that is is it's recovering strong you know what i mean is recovering strong you guys want to make sure if you're into purs if you're sage <laughs> you want to start picking these cards up right now before they continue to pump up you know in my humble opinion then we have access code talker it's crazy the fact that um you know we we get such a beautiful version of a card for under five dollars this is hacking this is hacks look massive walls again f5 bucks most of the top end purs are literally five bucks that is not bad you can get a place at 15 16 billies after tax not bad at all man 87 listings here five dollar card for access code talk i can't believe it that looks beautiful that is not bad guys not bad at all a card that has high demand and for this specific version you know you do have the wall of china but you have consolidation this is when you want to buy this is when you want to buy you know the, the the blood in the streets you want to buy the bottoms guys the all-time lows the consolidation it can't get any easier than that you don't want to be a billy bob paying 20 billies for a card that you can get at under fives today it's just it's sad man poor billy bob poor billy man red eyes dark dragoon i, I can't believe it. three dollars man three dollars look you can get a place at right now for 10 bucks post tax that's too cheap it's too good eventually it's fours and then fives i mean look if you clean this up here real quick look 60 listings six pages dragoon is iconic man this is a card again even if it would get banned i would not feel bad just owning just having access to the cardboard just the way it looks you know what i mean just beautiful um man i need one of each rarity for this card and this one i know would definitely look nice it's such a broken card broken card omni negate pops a card fits in many different decks you guys want to make sure that you stay ahead of the game then we have d d d d d d d d crow guys the crow um here p u r and look this hand trap continues to make no all-time lows but that's good look again a lot of one-ups guys just because you see some sales down here 
a lot of one ups, a lot of one ups. Play sets are ready for Billy's right here, as you can see. And 80 listings here. Look, people coming in, grabbing play sets left and right around these prices. Not bad again for an iconic hand trap, guys. A multi format hand trap using Edison, using current format, you know, when it cycles into the meta. And again, three, four Billy's under fives. All of these hand traps are great for this rarity um and crow when it comes back into the meta it comes back strong so the, the potential for this particular rarity for this particular card is there there'll be five billies in the short term and then 750s beyond that then we have cosmic cyclone a card that is being used right now in the meta a broken card that doesn't pop it banishes it's just too good here it was 316s bumping up to 330s and you see a couple of one ofs a couple of deals below threes but after that it's a four dollar card 65 listings so again the trend with these cards hey the trend is your friend until the end not just in the charts but in the buying patterns what does that mean jay is that a lot of people are most of these cards are pushing fours fives most of these we've talked about a dozen cards and they're all anywhere between four and five dollars essentially so that's the pattern that's the trend with these cards that they're all hovering three fifty four five you know so they're just consolidating sideways, waiting for you to come in and get this version, especially if it's your favorite rarity from this set. This this is meta relevant, meta relevant card. You have meta relevant cards, not bad to get exposure for the rarity that you want. So if it's this one, I wouldn't be waiting too long. There's a couple of one ofs, but then I would come in here and um, pick this card up just to get access to it. Then we have Magician Souls. Wow. Wow. I need to see this card in person. I haven't seen a pur i don't think we pulled that one from the box um for this particular card and look it's starting to curve up it says threes ready sales at 323s i mean look sales at 350s again you have a couple of one ofs here after that three billy soon and then 350s here and that is not bad guys essentially essentially you're paying 10 11 dollars post tax to get a play set of magicians souls one of the highest um in demand cards from the rarity collection to pur not bad man not bad at all these are just straight up deals for the long term i think these will age well just as the hype continues to come in people continue to buy up these cards and the supply starts drying up it's just such a great card man honestly been if this cycles into the meta this will be money this will be what like this is what 350s that it'll be fives and then 750s and eventually even possibly double digits for this card it just looks too beautiful and it was a much needed card man honestly it's great when you get reprints that the, the, the masses want that the, the, the community needs man and we don't get further reprints luxury rares we get like this now man the potential is just too great we have appaloosa bow of the goddess i mean the only thing that um would hamper this card from going on uh going up would be maybe a bandless hit that's the only thing you know that i see in my humble opinion i uh, look just consolidate easy easy money look at that 350 what that's nine that's 10 50 plus tax maybe 11 11 and some shekels that's not bad you have all nines here in the massive walls of china again seven pages 66 listings so the supply is there the supply is there but don't forget people were paying tens double digits for regular ultra rares from mama magnificent mavens so again if you see now they paid tens for that imagine what they can do for a pur that is so cheap and just has a massive wall of china here that is not bad for a card that is broken is broken again just like i said about cyclone the whole point of this is that uh, meta relevant cards people that are using cards like this in their extra decks in this particular case the demand is just there yeah i mean uh, jay might get hit might get banned you know is that okay we get it but hey if you love this rarity and you want to play i wouldn't be waiting around at three and a half but at least that's a steal honestly right now then we have draw the alternate art guys this one usually the cheaper version is just weird how it works you know people like their ogs the og arts you know um look 323s look at that play sets even at five dollars just as of today look you have a couple of one of the walls 373 so why did billy bob come and pay an extra i'm not even going down that road 75 listings the walls are under four billies for draw eight pages guys this is look people are come in in play sets they need your play sets of such a broken card honestly it's crazy just the way it works it's a drill it's a hand trap always cycles in and out of the meta people 
always have needed their drills. That's why you had commons pushing five bucks um, before these reprints because people need the cards. So now you get an alternate art for under four billies. Hacks, man. This is a steal. This is a deal, man. Deals and steals right here. This is easy money for this alternate art version of this much needed hand trap. Don't forget, man. Solemn Judgment, man. It's, it's, it's the Solemn card. <clears throat> Look at that. Just dumping down to threes. Look at now, a couple of one ofs. Where's the walls at 350s? Look, most of these are similarly priced, as you can see, anywhere between 350 to five bucks. That's what we've been talking about um, for most of these cards. It's crazy. Look, seven pages here, um, 64 listings, and this card is at an all time low down here with sales around three billies. And look, even some below, but most of the playsets are being bought up at 350, and that is not bad. Again, it's pretty close to 10, 11, 11, and some change for a playset of an iconic card that looks beautiful with a great rarity and um yeah 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 again multi-format still at threes i can't believe judgment still at threes in the current Yu-Gi-Oh meta and just such a broken card and iconic and it's nice man these look nice cards like these when when you see them in pur just the background and 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 it's nice it's nice it's nice man it's nice i don't know how our wallets are surviving then we have ultimate slayer again this card used to be a buck 53 spiking up to 321s guys and now you see a couple of one ofs a couple of six ofs here that is not bad still yeah oh uh, jay but it was 153 yeah for the long term i mean if it's already spiking like this imagine once we get a second and or a third leg up down the line look a lot of ones and two ofs after these six sixes and then eventually it'll be 350s and beyond so these these are just a deal right there again it's ultimate slayer i, I won't lie I've always obviously talked about this card. Um, shout out to Peak for buying the, the the Starlights at 50 bucks. And, you know, but I never like stopped and looked at the at the artwork. And I'm like, bro, this artwork looks amazing. Amazing. Cards that I've talked about endlessly on the channel. I just sometimes you gotta stop and like watch the artwork and look at it. Mostly we look at the name and you know, but look at that artwork. Wow. Beautiful artwork, guys. So I imagine in this rarity, it has to look fresh off the press just like the channel so this is one that i'd be picking up and we have polymerization man we have an iconic iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card iconic i mean to me this is just amazing that we get you see we talk about fillers in the rarity collection too and it could have had this and it should have had that yeah i'm right yeah, i mean i mean we're right for the most part you know when we when we're talking about that but at the same time it did have just key key cards that needed to be had that, you know for the community that the community wanted that needed reprints essentially and polymerization is one of them yeah it has the alternate art it has this and that it has that you know but even the og print this is an iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card fusion summoning in Yu-Gi-Oh goes to the dawn of time literally um and just to have this iconic card um be printed in rarities like luxury rares and seven new prints and and uh, all these new rarities for this card it's amazing card was a billy 50 went up to 240 retracing back down here a little bit providing some deals under twos but after that it goes to 260s and beyond so again 56 listings only six pages if you need this card i would come in and take advantage of this right now i wouldn't be waiting i want i don't want to be billy ball paying three dollars for a card that's a billy 90 i would be getting it right now taking advantage of this uh because this card is just iconic it has always been and always will you know polys people need their polys there's always fusion decks you know that always resort back to using this card some way somehow and having this in pur prismatic ulties not bad not bad at all this card has to look beautiful then we have guardian chimera again this one guys i mean again a card that was what 25 30s before all these reprints and now you get a billy 70 guys a pur for a dollar 70 this card is getting floored here you have deals at under twos you can't get any better than that it cannot get any easier than that at 59 listings six pages right there cheap right there cheap guardian chimera is just a broken broken card heavily why you think it costs 25 to 30s before these reprints oh jay because it, it was low supply yeah but that means the demand was extreme a lot of people really wanted this card and it's nice to see you know that uh this card is so cheap man just cards that we need a reprints for cards that we were clamoring that was 20 25 30s we're like man if we could just get a cheaper you know nice looking 
uh, rarity reprint of, of of this card and look at it we have it we have it now at a billion some change look at under two billies you have a couple there eventually it'll be two bit two two and a half billies and beyond so look people coming in grabbing this super cheap they need it this card is played you want to make sure you get access to it now you don't want to be that guy you don't want to be that guy paying five billies for a card that you could have got sub two billies down the line then we starting to get these iconic cards look book of moon foolish burial it's just so nice man cards that that are iconic cards that you know are multi-format cards that even you can play in goat so i mean now essentially just goat got cheaper man goat got cheaper for many of these cards you know it's nice to see cards that 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 you need you know for og formats look at this beautiful curvature guys beautiful curvature you have a couple of one ofs a couple of deals then it quickly quickly mind you goes to two billies a lot of one ofs guys a lot of one ofs you guys want to make sure that you guys are early for such an iconic card a card that has even cycled into the meta in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. modern Yu-Gi-Oh. why because uh, i'm booking stuff putting a uh, monster's face down never ever gets old it's one of the most broken techniques in Yu-Gi-Oh history you know just putting monster's face down broken 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 and this is quick play too is just too good of course now we have book of eclipse and other alternatives but at the same time sometimes you know this is it you just want a clean book a clean uh, uh putting a monster face down and 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 this can you know stop so many things interrupt so many things and that's why it's been an iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card since its inception man it's book of moon man can't believe we can get it at such cheap prices right now for such a beautiful rarity and the same as foolish honestly i would have preferred the alternate art here that's not the way it works it's nice um to see that we get this card same deal you know at billy's and some change super cheap right here not bad not bad but eventually it does go up quickly to two billies and what you can notice here yeah maybe for a couple you did notice maybe a couple of walls sure but for most of these you see a lot of ones and twos so you might come in here and be like ah oh, this is a billy 26 jay i'm gonna get it later i'm gonna just get it whenever i find some time you know there's no rush but there's just ones and twos man a couple of buys here and there and this card is already a two billy card and beyond and for most of these the same deal the same deal for most of these purs you want to make sure you get ahead of the game wow i can't believe it man we still have cards like pot part of duality part of duality man wow i mean obviously i want the og ots but in the meantime you know we get prismatic ots i take it. i'll take it for what price look a billion some change count me in count me in anything below two billies is a steal and deal right here 12 pages 113 listings yeah 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 so you can see here um look at that place that here people buying it at these prices not bad anything below 250s twos is a steal and deal um for such an iconic card that always cycles in and out of the meta i mean a card that has been played not just with flunderese but with true draco and just many different other decks um pot always come hey the pot cards man you get the pot cards purs of them that's too cheap that's too good honestly in my humble opinion then we start having cards like charge of the light brigade just cards that came that, that were used not just currently at threes with light swarm packages but then also you get this card in formats like edison i mean edison format is just one of the most popular formats in Yu-Gi-Oh history we can't deny it. i mean our recent poll on our channel um, just I asked which is your favorite OG Yu-Gi-Oh format of all time and 35% out of 282 votes said Edison I mean it's just you can't deny it. I mean one of the most popular formats again of all time and Light Sworn is a competitive deck I won't say it's the best deck but you know a lot of people like your boy Jay really like playing Light Sworn and what do you think they're gonna do what do you think they're going to do they're going to see charges of the Light Brigade a card that needed this reprint it just needed it and here we got it i can't believe it and look at it look at it i mean excuse me guys you know for a billy 50 that is not bad that is not bad a lot of one of us though it's hard it's hard to find multiples of these cards and most of these cards that we've been talking about today at the cheaper price range look there's people buying at 260s but then you have people it's hard to get multiples so people are coming in they're sniping up these deals at under 100 listings look you do have 10 pages but again man this is another one that i need one of each rarity for my personal collection why because it's too beautiful it's just it is it is it's charge of the light brigade man 
I mean, it's so powerful. So but you mill three and search in one card. I mean, this is a road on steroids, man. I love me some nice ones, man. Honestly, it's, it's just, I mean, I, I get it. Yeah, it's a broken effect. It usually doesn't pan out into the, the deck necessarily being broken into the meta, things of that nature. We understand. But guys, when you have iconic cards like these that needed these reprints, that the supers were like $15 before these reprints, because that you know getting holographic versions just was that hard now this come in this comes in means that demand of, of all those people that wanted man i wish i had beautiful charges the secret rares are expensive and the supers now we get look beautiful prismatic ultis right here and uh again man i don't even know what i mean how do we we tackle this man the 25th anniversary just I mean, we get it. There's fillers and stuff, but there's so many cards that, so many staples, so many good cards that we want to need. And in so many different beautiful rarities. It's tough, man. It's tough, man. You know, because it looks nice. I saw this one kid. He just played one of each rarity that, that like one of each luxury rare or something. You know what I mean? And uh, mismatching rarities, which I don't like. What do you guys think? Damn, I need to, need to ask that to the, to the community. I need to ask you guys, um, what do you guys think about mismatches? And like, if you're playing, if you like to play mismatching rarities or something, man, I need to, I need to, let, let me pull this up here right now. Let me just set it to the side. Uh, mismatching rarities. I'm going to have fun. Let's see what you guys have to say about that. We have skill drain, guys. Skill drain, yes. Every time I talk about this card, I tell you guys, guys, do we expect this card to get banned soon? Sure. Next list, either ban or at one. That's the call by the fresh off the press community by your boy Jay. But again, look at that. In the meantime, that doesn't mean you can't make money off of this volatility. It can't mean that it, it doesn't mean that you can't can't means what's that, Jay? That you can't buy this card at the Billy range and then sell at two thirties here and two X or at two fifties after buying or, or whatever three bucks. Yeah, because this card could this card reach those prices? Sure. I mean, again, look at all these one ofs, guys. One of just one ofs, man. Sixty eight listings, seven pages, just a bunch of one ofs put together. And that's it. Skill Drain, man. Iconic. This is another one. I could care less if it gets banned or goes to one. I need one of each rarity for Skill Drain. It's just that iconic. That iconic of a card. And currently at three, it's broken. That's the only reason why Runic Stun is making waves. Um, you know, or or Runic Lie Swords or or and well, I don't think they play Skill Drain. I meant to say um Um Scrub Terrors, you know. That one guy you saw at regionals, you imagine? Damn, that'd be epic, man. That'd be epic, man. Honestly, honestly. That's going to be your boy, man. We're going, we going to Nats with a scrub turn. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> I didn't even get my invite. I don't, I, bro, I've never earned my invite. I'm just not that competitive, you know, and that's fine. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are. That's why I love our community. We had, we're, a, we're, we're a mix and match. We're a mesh of, you know, um, uh, competitive players, collectors, and, and uh, traders, and, and you know and, and and market watchers and and investors that's what i love about what we have here um but uh damn look at this card P P pirelli purely i don't know man tomatoes to models um three billies damn billy bob's already coming in look at that a billion some change a bunch of one ups but the card is two billies right now not bad look at look, all these reprints all these purs that's why these cards have been going up as of late because people now are getting just beautiful marvelous versions of these beautiful cards they were beautiful to begin with now you get purs for billies and some change man i mean it's too easy it is man it is it is this is future money down the line this card was always extremely hard to get and now you have these beautiful rarities they're so cheap but that's cheap today don't take these deals for granted guys then we have fantastical dragon phantasma man wow not bad at all so down you know just down the line here we're still talking about um look at that hand traps it says ability 60 but look you have a couple of deals here in the shekel territory before eventually yeah it's a two dollar card so not bad 89 listings you have nine pages and again it's the alternate art version that's crazy look at the discrepancy man someone today came in bought one at 68 cents and then some other people buying at threes insane man insane just we need to recycle our purchasing power you do not want to be that guy you just don't you don't you you, you want to be maybe buying these twos first you know at a billion some change maybe even look you buy a place at a bit of 86 don't don't overpay man oh well guys but uh 
don't don't be billy bob don't be that guy but alternate this looks beautiful man phantasmi that's pretty pretty nice i won't lie i will not lie a billion some change if you want to place it of this card is not bad for phantasmi that again links are not going anywhere we just keep getting new links broken links and this card it, it just it works with links obviously is the counter to them and it's a hand trap and i don't see this card going anywhere but up especially for this version at these current shekel prices then we have garura wings of resonant life just a card that is needed a card that is needed jay you just said the same thing why because it's needed that's the whole point the cards like these that you people need it as super poly targets um it's it's i don't need jay, jay let it out you imagine guys i, I honestly look at that the, the, <laughs> oh man hopefully you guys are getting entertained always smiling passion positive vibes positive energy that is what we're here for guys look at the curvature that's what you want to see you want to see that curvature here look at that just beautiful beautiful curvature again a lot of one of the billies and some change look it's a billy 50 a billy 50 here for multiples uh, just under two dollars that's good that's what you want to see 90 listings usually that's the way it starts first qcs stars um qcs stars you imagine start pumping then you have the platinum seekers and then it just starts trickling its way down until eventually this billion some change card is is three two threes and then eventually fives down the line you want to get in early now a couple of weeks into the rarity collection too this is when we come in man this is when we come in when you're starting to see the curvature when you're starting to see the consolidation starting to come in here for many of these cards now you come in of course maybe you could have sniped a couple of deals if you got pre-sales or you or you were buying for the last couple of weeks <clears throat> sure sure but for the masses for most people you want to come in now patience wins this game you know as people get what they need they no longer need these cards they lose interest you come in and now you buy and we sweep the lows we sweep the lows with a mop that's what we do jay what are you talking about we have Ryko here um just as we talked about charge i can't believe we get um such beautiful Ryko's here at the shackle territory shout out to this person not bad at all but again if you want multiples you're going to have to pay most likely um more than a billy probably like this um for the but even these prices again a card that was hard to get for holographics um just not a couple of weeks ago and now we have beautiful purs man beautiful purs a lot of one ofs again most of these are just hard to get most of these luxury rares are not that easily um available easily um um able to just pick up left and right um no it's 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 harder than it looks again because you see a lot of one of so these prices can definitely be deceiving you want to make sure that you guys are early come in if you can get it at shekels great even a billion some change for another iconic light swarm monster but just not light swarm for edison a lot of people play Ryko. a lot of people a lot of people play Ryko um because you play it in in a in a light swarm so obviously but you play it in um uh black wings like value turbo and stuff like that again so the demand is there this is a card that is too cheap compared to its future price down the line for sure then we have blue eyes cards blue eyes cards look card that says ability 50 have a couple of one ofs but if you want multiples you're gonna probably have to pay threes man literally 43 listings you're going to have to pay 10 billies to get a play set of this specific card in this specific rarity this is another one that i want one of each rarity it's just too beautiful it is too beautiful it's alternative it's iconic it's always always in Yu-Gi-Oh history been a hard card to get up until now even with the legendary season i think two reprints or whatever in whichever legendary season it came it was always a hard card to get and now it's readily available now it's easy now it's just worth a couple of billies so take advantage of that because down the line into the future you just don't know which is which of these luxury rares can maybe pop off um you know something that is cheap today can definitely become expensive tomorrow especially if we get more blue eye support down the line I think a structured deck or whatnot you know I, I think you know the rumor or something but the whole point is you want to be early you want to come in and get these cards at a couple of billies before you know they're fives or even beyond um for such a beautiful beautiful rarity for such an iconic blue eyes monster that uh has always been money always been hard to get so these luxury rares i expect them to continue to go on as these cards get harder and harder to get overall same as jet blue eyes jet dragon guys look at that making a new all-time low into the shekel territory a lot of one ofs though don't get it twisted yeah you do see 
people buying at these levels but do not get it twisted yo i like this man <laughs> big time bodega man i like it i like it where, where is he from where is he from utah damn that thing is far um if there's bodegas out there damn hey a lot of one ups here um you got nine pages 88 listings but again yeah this one has a prismatic this one has a starlight now it has these seven new rarities we get it but again as a pur if you can get these around billies that is not bad for the long term is the jet man broken effect especially in, in blue eyes is such a great card um is is the jet man blue eyes jet dragon one of the better blue eyes cards honestly so to see this so cheap man it must be nice it must be nice to be a blue eyes player and to see so many new prints of all these iconic cards in this set they have to be going crazy honestly and then we have bingo machine go same deal look at that this card was 75s went up to 84s getting destroyed getting floors floored crashing down um into the dumpsters you do have um here uh play sets here at 78 cents 78 shekels that is not bad you know because then eventually it hits a billy so don't get it twisted here for again an iconic blue eyes card beautiful beautiful this is a pretty cool card man this is the artwork and everything wow it's really really nice so again bingo machine go if you can get these at shekels i don't know what are you waiting for this is easy easy money down the line then we have the spirit we have the spirit we have blue eyes spirit dragon guys we have a blue eyes card that honestly guys was hard to get it was hard to get even for the ultras obviously the secrets before this card gets re got reprinted this is a, a blue eyes synchro monster just look how beautiful this card looks honestly it's just too it's, it's too good it's too beautiful it's too nice as you can see here especially the price look at that shekels you can get this card for shekels today becomes billy tomorrow you even have ro nines here 79 cents eventually it is a billy guys um so don't get it twisted yeah you do have pcrs as well you have all the p's and all the r's psrs pcrs purs we get it we get it but at the same time 80 listings only and if you can come in and squeeze in a couple of these in again for your rarity collection um just that you're setting to the side that is not bad again beautiful pur it's a beautiful card and you got to understand this particular rarity looks better you know on certain cards rather than the other i think for all rarities you know you can have platinum secrets that look better maybe on xc's rather than synchros but then you come to purs and then the synchros look better here with this rarity so you want to pick and choose you want to make sure that you're aware of which which ones look better with what and things of that nature so again just having these blue eyes cards readily available just accessible like this was so you know just such beautiful rarities like these luxury rares you can't take these for granted especially in the shekel territory this is a card that you can come in today and be like jay you know this is shekels who cares it's a blue eyes card yeah it's good yeah okay there's that but this is cheap look readily available all these listings in page one in the shekel territory there's a bunch of listings i'll wait and then you come back a week two weeks a month two months three months a couple of months down the line and this card that you could have gotten for shekels today is worth billy tomorrow you don't want to be that guy you want to come in early you want to make sure you guys get access to these broken beautiful cards man guys what do you think what do you think think about purs leave a comment down below um prismatic ultimate rares what are your thought what is your thought process do you like purs do you prefer a different rarity you know are you like sage that this is it he's getting what playset or one of each or a playset of uh, all purs so you know he already has um most if not all the, the the ones from rarity collection one so that's cool that's cool that's the cool part about rarity collections too you know you can pick your choosing you could be like yo i'm gonna focus on just one rarity like platinum secrets and then just get most of those but then you have so many great options as well with the other luxury rares and the other um prints as well guys man if you made it this far into the video honestly thank you so much and you're a straight mvp guys thank you so much for your time for your support and for your attention, stay fresh.